more than 200 products, and that is just a lot of beauty and a lot of dreams. So it's only fitting that we celebrate our 50th anniversary and the power of what one woman can do here on International Women's Day. And this is the first ever Global Mary Kay Makeover Day. So as we're gathered here, as we're gathered here in LA, there are thousands of women around the globe in more than 20 countries participating in events just like this. So we've got them going on from Moldova to Malaysia, Korea, Kazakhstan, Armenia, and even in Argentina. And together we're working to set a Guinness Book of World Records for the most number of makeovers held within a 24-hour period. I know if anyone can do it, Mary Kay can. So I'd also like to personally thank all of our Salesforce members for being here today. And we'd like to then extend a especially warm welcome to all of you and then your guests. So thank you for being here. Now, y'all ready to get started? Okay. Well, we've got with us today a member of our Global Makeup Artist team. It's a group of 13 artists that work with us all around the world, and they create signature looks, help us with our color lines, makeup application, as well as the latest trends. So with us today, and you all have, I don't know if you, you have a sheet, but you'll follow along, so you're going to put on your makeup as Luis does it. So a native of El Salvador, Luis Costco, is now based right here in L.A., and we're so happy to have him with us today to talk through a brand new signature look that he's designed just for this event. Luis sees a woman's eyes as the windows to her soul, and the look he's going to share with us today is an exciting interpretation of that philosophy. Let's get ready to have some fun. Luis. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, my God. What can I say? Happy International Women's Day. That's right? first. Happy birthday, Mary Kay. Yes, that's in May. And it's and raining in LA. And it's raining in LA. <laughs> it's a day, of, a day of celebration. That's right. It's a day of celebration. <laughs> um, I'm really, really excited to be here and so happy to see all those faces out there. It's what a great crowd we have right now. Um, I, I'm going to introduce our model, who is Katya. And um, I'm going to show you, here's our Mary Kay model, Katya. I'm going to be showing you this look that I created as really something that, to me, every woman could wear. And I'm talking from every skin tone to every age, because it's all about the intensity of it. And, and, you know, it's really fun because really it's all about the black pencil. I've been saying that if you were stranded somewhere and the only thing you had was this black pencil, well, you should be able to do your makeup with that. And I'm going to show you how. The first thing that we used was the eye primer on Katya. And I'm going to show you um, one thing that I think close, Katya. One thing that I think most of us ignore, when you're doing a sort of a heavier eye like this one, make sure that you use the eye primer also on the lower uh, lash line, sort of right in this area. Do any of you out there ever have a little fallout during the day or, or something that runs down? Try that primer right under. You can get it pretty close. One way to do it would be by using the concealer brush also, you can put a little bit of that primer right under that area. It's also a beautiful way, if you're ever using an eyeshadow as an eyeliner, you can put it over that primer and it's just gonna have that beautiful color that pops. Then we're gonna start with that little friend, that one little thing that you would need, which is the black liner. So everyone pull out your liners, because you can do this along with Louise. That's right. And then we start painting. Look, it's really, you don't have to be perfect about it. We're going to get it close to the base of the lashes, sort of like you normally do uh, your eyeliner. Only this time, we're going to carry it like up like this. Do you see that? Going to carry it up just like that. <laughs> don't be scared. Now, do this for me. Do this for me before you try it. Feel that little bone, right? Feel that little bone that's right, right, right there. Well, just want to make sure that you want to stay under that bone, under that crease. Don't carry it too far up. One more tip that I can give you is 
Have any of you ever done like a more dressed up eye look and you feel that you carry the color way too high, like you don't know where to stop? Like all of a sudden it starts going beyond the crease and it just keeps like building and creeping up on you? Well, the best thing to do is to take the area right where your eyebrow goes down at this peak of your eyebrow and imagine a little line there and then put a dot right there. Okay? Put a dot right there and that makes it to be the highest point in which you want to apply a dark eyeshadow right under that eyebrow. That will work with any eye type. Right? And then what we'll do is we'll take the eyeshadow brush and start blending. Do I have, have one I, of those Have here? I stolen your eyebrow brush? No, yeah. here it is. Thank you. We'll take the eyeshadow brush. And thanks to that primer, uh, do you want this one or look that? how have easy it is. One? This, this yeah. one's good. That's yeah, great. this one. So then we'll just start blending. Obviously, you want to do this as light or dark as you choose to, depending on the person, depending on their age, depending on their eye. But one thing I can tell you is that a lot of people feel that darker, smokier eyes like this could have a tendency to close your eyes, but applying it the way I'm going to show you will actually open up your eyes, and you'll love this. One more thing, another thing that I always hear. Luis, how far do I take it out in the corners? I don't know where, how far to take it. Well, once again, take a brush, or like I'm doing here with a cotton swab, directly from your nose, kind of where we tell you, tell you your eyebrows end. That's, that should be where you could also use that as a guide as to where, how far out you want to go with your eye. That's going to help people with very small eyes to pull them out and make them appear bigger, just like this. And then remember, we have our little cheek point here, so we don't want to go up higher than that point, just like that. Open up, Katya. So look at that. That is just the black pencil on her eye. That's the only thing she's wearing. Then we're going to put it under her eye. Look up. So we'll get... See, I'm, I'm going basically right over where I put that eye primer and then into the corner, just like that, always keeping it just a little thicker in the outer corner, again, to pull your eye out. And then we'll take the eye smudger brush, brush which I recommend for all of you guys to have, and starting in the outer corner, I start smudging that a little bit. Okay, so if Katya was out and the only thing she had was her Mary Kay black pencil, she could do this. She could go to a club. She could go wherever, anywhere. That's right. She, she loves it. Um, and now let's do the other eye right, too. I love that. Yeah. That gives everyone so time, will, too, to catch up and get their second eyes. Exactly. I will do it like this. As you can see, it's very... It's very messy. Look, I'm going to do it like that so that you can see. Pretty messy. And then look up. And I'm doing it in that outer three-quarter area of the eye where I want the most. Close for me. But it's okay to carry it there, too. And now we're going to blend. So starting from the outside, I start blending towards the inside. What you will find that's beautiful with this pencil is depending on the, the shade of skin that you're working with, you're going to find these beautiful blues and sort of silver and, and different shades that you're going to get from that black that doesn't necessarily look like it's just you just put on coal black on your eye. It's all about how much you blend it. And now look up, Katya. See, on this side, I'm going to use the same brush, even though the smudger works better just because it's a little tighter. So you can see a little bit of a difference. Gorgeous. Thank you. And now we're going to add a little texture to this. And this is where you can really have fun, you know. This time, I'm going to use black pearl on her eye, 
but instead of black pearl, you could use any color. You could use blue, green, pink, any of those colors that you really sometimes have a hard time wearing. Because I'm starting with such a neutral base, you could actually wear something like that. But today I'm going to use black pearl because I really want to give this now some texture. It's funny because I don't think many people think of black liner as a neutral base. Yeah. It is, because I'm smoking it out into a gray, very neutral, and very important, too, the way I'm applying this shadow. I'm patting it in, okay? I'm, I'm taking the shadow, and I'm pushing it onto the eye. Why am I doing that, Sarah, you might ask? That is exactly what I would ask. <laughs> I pat it on so that we can really see that beautiful texture that that eyeshadow has. You know, all those little sparkles, especially in the evening, that look so beautiful, will be lost if I just feather it out. If you want to just smoke it out and really blend it and make it softer, you can. But for this, I'm making sure that I'm, I want to see that texture. So I'm patting the color in just like that. Okay? And then the next thing that we'll do is we'll use White Lily. Why White Lily? Because I wanted a little bit of matte uh, tone right under her eyebrows like this and then I carry it into the corners in here just to brighten up the whole look the very last step is a fun step that's actually not even in in my instructions before but that I really love is I actually take the sandstone color and with with um, this brush I actually mix the two like this and then I apply it right at the edge, right here, just to sort of give a very soft, finished look to the eye. It really looks beautiful on. Okay, what you're doing is, is sort of diffusing that line that you created by applying that, that bronzer right there. And then you ask, Louise, why bronzer? Why not an eyeshadow? Well, you certainly can. You could use a hazelnut or an almond color. But the reason really I'm using the, the bronzer is, is because I have it here and it's a way for you to minimize what you're carrying with you. It's also a color that I'm going to be using on her face next to sort of uh, contour her face. So I, I, I like to just warm up the face and the eyes at the same time. The other thing I've noticed yes. that you're doing is you're tapping your brush before you're putting it That's on. Right. Why are you doing That's that? That's right. Because we want the excess to fall off somewhere, somewhere else, else and not on your like eyes. <laughs> that works. Okay, here's a little tip. We're going to take a tissue in case you're ever... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to do mascara. We're using Lash Love Waterproof. And what I do is I place it right on her lid like this. And then you go in there and you have fun with it. Now, when I apply mascara, I think of it in three sections. The middle, the outer corner, and the inner corner. So make sure that you coat the lashes in all three sections. Especially the outer corner is really important because that really helps to open the eyes up. See, look at that application and all that that went, that went on the tissue. This is especially a great trick for someone who maybe doesn't wear as much mascara and is doing this sort of dressed up look. It's a great way to do it this way. Um, I've you can do it with a little card or just anything a little bit stronger than a piece of paper. Another nice trick that I've seen is people carry a little plastic spoon with them. And they put that on the lid and then do the mascara over that. That's also great for people that have oily lids that you sometimes put mascara on. They open their eyes and then it's all over the place. Well, the way to do it is, is use that little spoon, apply the mascara, and give it a little time to dry. So here we go. That's another nice thing with the waterproof is that it dries really quickly and locks in that yes. curl. Yes, yes. And I love the waterproof also because it's. It, I love the black uh, one. It looks really black. And then we're doing the same thing on the bottom. 
there's something a little rock and roll about this eye too. There so is. so having a lot of mascara really works with it. It's like fun. I mean, I think that that for someone who's going to a party, a club, it's a fantastic, terrific way to do it by applying lots of mascara. But if you want to keep it a little more daytime and a little more conservative, you might just want to do mascara on the top. You know, it's all about that intensity again. So now I just look at what's left. Okay, close. I will apply a little bit more liner just to make sure the base of her lashes look as full and thick as possible. And now look up for me. And we go a little bit on the bottom. Now is a really important step. You want to make sure that all this looks clean underneath. So the very next thing that we're going to do uh, two things. So this is something that I always like to do. I take the oil uh, makeup remover and I put some little cotton buds inside wet. There's a little bit of product inside, so they're wet for me already. So if I make a little mistake, I can always just dab on and I already have them ready. Another thing I can tell you is a great way to pick up any mistakes is to just dab it on like this, roll it, and pick it up. A lot of times we have a tendency to do this, and all we do is 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 just smear smear it all over the place. Exactly. So now the concealer. Remember, we need very little concealer, but what I want to do is really perfect the look of this eye. So um, I could use the concealer brush, but I'm going to use the foundation brush because we've already applied concealer and I just want a very light application. See, and I go in here and I just clean up right under the eye. One thing I can tell you ladies is if you're ever doing a really strong eye like this one, you might want to do your foundation and your concealer after. So actually do the eyes and then do the concealer and foundation. Then you'll know that if anything fell under your eye or on your cheek, you can clean it up, and then you'll have that perfect uh, finish afterwards. But since we've applied our primer, we've had no fallout. There we go. Okay. So that's the concealer, and those are the eyes. And then we'll move to her cheeks. Now, the cheek brush is, is a fantastic product to use. Let me explain to you. To do contour... I like to grab the brush and make it a little tighter like this. When I do blush, I let go of it and I make it softer. So that's two ways of using this brush. So what I'm going to do is use sandstone. And by now, poor Katya definitely knows what a fish face is. <laughs> so make a fish face. See? And then we mark that area right under the cheek. And actually, if you look that way, Katya, I can show them. And then we can do a little bit darkness right here and bring it down the neck. Meaning we leave this, this area lighter, this area lighter, and then the darkness right here. That gives us that wonderful shape to our face. And you want to blend really well. So did you see what I'm doing? When I apply it, I, I, I tighten the bristles just like this. And then when I want to blend it, I do this which actually I'm going to apply the 